Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,285. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have this question right here. And here's what this person asks. They're trying to create an array of sequential numbers. So the row function usually tells you for a cell reference, usually a single cell reference, what row it is. If we did row of A1, it would give me 1. But if I put a range in there, we're doing a function argument array operation, which forces row to spit out multiple answers. So when I highlight this and hit the F9 key, that's what this person is after, an array of 1 to 5. Control-Z. So that one worked. And notice that this is just on a range here, 5 cells. He tried this one, which has a row reference, 1 to 5. I kind of get nervous when I have row references because that is a lot of cells there. Nevertheless, if you highlight it in F9, you get the same thing, an array of sequential numbers from 1 to 5. His question was he wanted to, from cell A1, determine the length of the array 1 to 5 by the length of text in a particular cell. So why in the world doesn't this work? Now, len, if I were to highlight it in F9, it properly gives me a 5, Control-Z. And if I put a colon and a 1, if I highlight this and hit F9, whoa, why isn't it working? This formula should work. This is trying to create that row reference 1, colon, 5. But Excel cannot understand it. Two things we have to do. The first thing is we have to put the 1 and the colon into double quotes and then join it to the len. Anytime you have some text or numbers in a formula, it's going to try to find a function name or a defined name or a cell reference. And 1 colon wasn't working, so we needed to force it to be text and then join it to the len. Now when I highlight this little bit right here and hit F9, there's that 1 to 5. Control Z. So I'm just going to try it. I'm going to hit Enter. I still get an error escape. The reason why is when I hit F9, that is text. And Excel doesn't understand the row reference as text. Well, guess what? There's a function that will specifically take a reference as text and convert it back to a reference. Control Z. It is the indirect function. That's all it does. It takes something that's representing a reference and converts it back to a reference. So when I close parentheses on indirect and highlight this F9, well, that's not going to work in edit mode because I can't display more than 8,192 characters. But row will understand it. If I were to highlight this whole thing and hit F9, there is our array of sequential numbers from 1 to 5 based on the length of whatever I put here. Control Z, and now I'm going to hit Enter. One. Now, of course, it's not going to display that whole array. This person was trying to use this in a larger array formula. But if I change this to rad, rad. and now come down here, F9, I can see it's a dynamic array of sequential numbers now, 1 to 3, based on the length of whatever text we put in cell 1. Control-Z. Now, one other thing, I'm going to enter what? this, copy this down, and delete this right here. And I want to talk about these two. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with the question, but if you're really trying to generate an array, F9, of sequential numbers 1 to 5, Control-Z, there's a problem with this formula row, with the range, and with this one. And it simply is Alt-I-R to insert a row. Our job if we're building spreadsheets is to build them as robust as possible. And if we were to insert a row, it changes the output, F9, to a sequential array of numbers 2 to 6. Escape, and same with this one, F9. So Control-Z. If our goal was to create an array of 1 to 5, not with this formula. This formula is fine here because it's tied to whatever's in A1. Here's what we do if we really wanted an array of sequential numbers. Hey, we're going to take row and give it the same range right there. And then we're going to subtract 
a row of the first cell in whatever range that is. Now notice, this will give me 1. This gives me 1 to 5. This is an array calculation. 1 to 5 minus 1 is 0 to 4, F9. Control Z, so we simply then add 1. Now if I F9, there's my robust array of sequential numbers. Control Z when I hit Enter. Control Home, Alt I R. These ones are not going to work, but this one, F9, remains faithful to our original goal of creating a sequential array of numbers 1 to 5. Escape, Control-Z. All right, we'll see you next video.